This journal was a birthday present for a 13-year-old girl. Anne Frank wrote in it about her school, her crushes, her friends and family. Then, like many Jewish families in Europe during World War II, the Franks went into hiding. Anne carried on writing in her diary until the 4th of August, 1944, the day the Gestapo arrived and arrested all eight people hidden inside the warehouse in Amsterdam. Now, a team is opening the case to find out who, or what, led the Gestapo to their door. We're looking at uh, hundreds of scenarios, not only betrayal, by the way. The investigation will be headed up by a former FBI agent and will use modern investigative techniques and artificial intelligence. But it won't be an easy task and it's expected to cost five million dollars. We immediately were blown away when we realized the amount of data and historical uh, archives that needed to be investigated. This is over 25 kilometers of files. Of the eight Jews hidden together in a secret annex, only Anne's father, Otto Frank, survived. Anne herself died in a concentration camp before the end of the war in 1945. She was 15. Over the years, there have been around 30 suspects, but no one's ever been charged. And researchers say the arrests may not have been due to a betrayal. There was black labor somehow going on, and we know there was also some kind of uh, um, fiddling with the books going on to, to raise money for the, uh, for the people hiding here. So there's more than one reason for the authorities to be interested. If it was a person, this case won't lead to prosecution. Instead, the Cold Case Diary team aims to reveal how the Gestapo found Anne and the other occupants of the secret annex on the 75th anniversary of their arrest in two years' time. Arabella Munro, TRT World.